Hi, welcome to Data Engineering. So today we are going to discuss about Spark Data Lineage. So how to get the Spark Data Lineage information in your command line or in your log? Okay. So first of all, what is lineage? So generally, when you say a lineage in your relationship in a bloodline, we used to say son, father, and then grandfather. So that is actually kind of a lineage we used to say, right? So similarly, here in Spark, we have the lineage of the transformations, the list of transformations that you are doing. Imagine you are first reading a file, transformation gets started and then you are doing some join second transformation and then you are doing some filtration third transformation and then you are applying some map on top of it fourth transformation so you have all these list of uh, transformation which has been recorded in spark so this is what a, a lineage that get maintained it's about uh, your rdds and data frame trans uh, transformations information will be get maintained by spark it is not actually the data the input data no that is not it actually records the information about what are all the list of transformation has been get executed as you know it is a lazy evaluation until you invoke an action your transformation will not get start so now all your transformation will be get stored somewhere and this is what like uh, in spark web ui we can see in the dac format also you can see you have a specific syntax which you can use to get the information in the logs as well and even you can do that in the terminal as well fine so this is a i, I just need an example to show you right so that's why i just use uh, spark word count so in this video i'm not going to explain this word count program i have a separate video for that you can check that from my playlist link where i have given the uh, in the description i have given the playlist link which has all the big data videos where you can find spark word count program fine so now the very first line i'm going to execute is i'm going to read a file which is my input file which has some words I'm just reading it first transformation and then I'm applying flat map. Uh, this is for delimiting saying that my records has been space delimited. So next is I'm just passing map. So to split that into key value pair and then I'm invoking reduce by key. This is for uh, grouping. So we have short by key and group by key which which actually does the final summation. OK, so this is a wide transformation. Fine. So now what I'm going to do, this is my final DF dot collect just to get the output. Okay, so you got the output. So now the agenda of the topic is how to get to know the data lineage, how to print the data lineage. So this is actual interview question. So many of you who is watching the video, you are already aware of it, but still few, uh, they are not aware of it. So one of my uh, viewer, he asked me like uh, how to print the data lineage, how to get the data lineage information. So for that, what you can do, your final DF dot to debug string. So your, it could be your final DF or it could be your final RDD. So debug string. So you can see debug string. So this will actually gives you the data, complete data lineage where you can see first you are reading the data and then you do a flat map and then you are doing a map and then reduce by key. So top to bottom. So now you can see. So first we, we are reading a file and then we are doing a flat map and then we are doing a map and finally the reduce by key. So this is what the data lineage is all about. So you can ask me like uh, I am the one who have written the code. So I know the list of transformation what I have used. So why I need to use this debug string to get the lineage information. So imagine that you are ex working on some existing code or you are just running the code or you are you are just testing the piece of code with someone else developed it and you have to you just need to know how it is working in the runtime. What are all the lineages been getting called? So you can use this. So and the second one is you can ask me now you are just showing by printing it in the console. But what happens in the real time in the production? We used to build it as a jar file, right? So this works for PySpark, Scala Spark, Java Spark and everything. So in real time, we used to build it as a jar. So in your code, you can add this to debug string and you can just add. So this will be get printed in your log in your uh, web ui spark web ui you can able to see in yarn application master you can able to see or if you have integrated any logger so this will be get printed on the logger also okay and moreover this will be helpful when you start exploring persist catchy and checkpointing these are some of the concepts where we used to store the intermediate data okay i'll be i'll be covering these topic in my upcoming videos or if you can find this videos already in my playlist please go through it by the time okay so now uh, the this agenda of the video is to just get the uh, information of the data lineage so we are just printing it you can even you can see in your spark web ui so you will be uh, you will able to see that from your dag you can see here right so this is also stage by stage you can able to see the list of transformation that has been happened right so for one stage is for all narrow transformation and 
for every wide and narrow there will be a separate stage wide transformation and narrow transformation so there will be a separate stage so narrow transformation is a transformation without shuffle wide transformation is a transformation with the shuffle that's why it, it just created a separate stage for it okay so two debug string so this is an interview question you can just uh, uh, have it in your mind now so this is going to be a very short video and thanks for watching if you really like this video please do subscribe my channel and forward this to your friends and colleagues so we do have a lot of big data videos you can find the link in the description box of this video i have started a new channel for digital marketing so that channel link only digital guys the channel name and that channel link is also there in the description box please do support for my new channel as well thanks for watching